It's just... Do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Dirty as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Didn't you? Wow, Kenny is not helpful. I wouldn't want him if something ever happened. Wow. And he's bitching about people not liking him. She, I wonder why. some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Huh? 
Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Maybe could have got more. Half of it's probably expired. There just wasn't a lot left. This it? Yeah, well, we've been picking Macon clean for weeks. <sighs> Fuck. Which is why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable any- We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's gotta be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on Earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know?! I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Whatever, Lee, you've picked your sides. Ken, that's not fair. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Ooh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Oh, I think there's something happening between Lee and Carly. Interesting. Oh, it's Clementine. I feel bad for her. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't 
like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. It'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. People might be pissed. And telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. You'll thank me later. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. Counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is.
You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Katja. Everything keeps changing. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom. Broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Hmm. There's something drawn there. Duck! A clue! Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating.
Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Wow, Duck thinks I'm incredibly awesome. <laughs> that makes my day. Alright, let's take a look. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, she says she's missing a piece of it. Well, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, Lee. Hey. Find anything? Do you ever want to leave here? I want to leave here when we have to, not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go. I'll be back. Do you have any, uh, chalk I can borrow? What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I? I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Hi, guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit wasn't for touching kids, was it? No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? 
Yeah, Duck, you did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. <laughs>